guys and welcome to another video um i am so torn because i have two really great hauls and i don't know which one to do today i think i think we're just gonna go with the one that arrived first yeah okay let's do that <laughs> if you can hear some music playing in the background that's just the baby monitor that he is asleep so okay this week's haul is from Marks and Spencers or M&S. So Marks and Spencers is a British band, band brand. <laughs> um, I used to shop there quite a lot. My family is British and as a kid, we went over there a lot for holidays. And every time we went over there, we'd buy stuff. Then when I was 18, I moved to England for I don't know, quite a few years. Um, so I used to shop there then. That used to actually be my go-to place for bras for a bigger busted woman because believe it or not, I have pretty much had these poops since I was like 11 or something. I don't know. They've been big for a long time. Um, and it's really hard to buy, as you know, big busted women bras. And back in the day in particular, it was extremely hard and expensive. So that was my go-to for affordable uh, big boob bras. Um, and then when I was living back here, um, I got really excited because they started shipping to Australia and it was amazing. So I started buying their bras again and a few bits and bobs here and there. However, then their bra sizes sort of went a bit funny. You know, you'd order these sizes and, you know, one would be miles too small, one would be too big and their sizes just seemed all over the place. So I sort of cut them out and it's been years since I brought from there. My mum just went to England. She was there for three months and I thought, hey, Marks and Spencers, I better ask her what it's like now. So we were talking about it and I looked on their site and they had a sale on and I thought, let's give it another go. It's been years since I brought from there. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the haul. As always, all my measurements and links to everything and sizing and all the information you can need is going to be in the link. Uh, in the description box below and uh, of course if you're not part of our Facebook group please go join the Facebook group or Instagram or TikTok because I will be styling these many different ways uh, in my daily get ready with me so let's get into it okay this first item is probably one of the ones I'm most excited about leather look leggings now, these are not like other ones that I've had in the past that are more leggingy. These feel more like leather pants that just have that same stretch that leggings do. The leather feel, I mean, it's not real leather, but <laughs> the feel of them is like butter. And because it is winter, I mean, I can't really show you the inside. Like you can't see or feel that, but it is soft and it is warm so if you're going for nights out in winter these are going to be perfect now i know we're getting close to the end of winter but it's still going to be cold at night for a while so these are fantastic and hey they're not going to go out of style so you know next winter you know you need them and i just found that because they're thicker than like a legging um they was a bit more tummy control for my pooch um, and I just really like these. Also, for a short person, um, they weren't very long. In fact, that was one of the things I really, really loved about Marks and Spencers. You could buy almost anything in a tall, a short, or a regular. And I just loved that inclusivity because it gets expensive having to take up all your trousers. And, you know, of course, tall people need to be able to buy clothes. You can't add material to clothes. I'm sure they're all sick of wearing cutoffs. But then from the flip side of it, as a shorty at only 5'2", um, having to get all your pants taken up is a pain in the bum and it's expensive. And I have some really great pairs of trousers there that I can't wear because I haven't taken them to be taken up yet because I got three kids under five. Who's got the time for that? Anyway, I really love these. Let me know what you think in the description below. Am I rocking it? I have some really cool ideas for ways to style this with stuff I already have, which is exciting. And now I just need to find more of a social life so that I can, you know, go out and wear them, you know, <laughs> because I never get out of the house <laughs> at night and I need to, uh, that's not true. On the weekend, I went out for dinner with my friend Mon for the first time in well over a year before the last lockdown when we were like, 15 weeks, 16 weeks pregnant, we went out for dinner and we were like, we're going to do this every week. Like, let's do this once a month as like a pregnancy me time. And then we got put in lockdown and then we had babies to look after. So 
my first time out in over a year and a half probably um, and it was amazing. So more of those and I'm gonna wear these and I'm so excited. So make sure you join us on Facebook if you wanna see different ways I'm styling this. Oh, I didn't get into any of the details. So this is a UK 18. It is short in length, it's a Euro 46. And I think in Australia, we're about the same size. So I would say this is an Australian 18 as well. What else can I tell you about it? It's made in Bangladesh. Um, and it doesn't have any information about what material it is. It doesn't have any information. It probably doesn't have a website. But I'm using my phone to film this. So, you know, until I sort out my setup. I'm not going to have that information for you. I'll try and put it down below. Anyway, must have. Next item was a little bit of a fail. Okay. I was kind of expecting it, but it is these mum jeans. They've got four buttons down the front. Um, they're the light wash. And my favorite thing about them was the frayed edging down the bottom. Um, now, I really just want a comfortable, loose pair of jeans. But I don't want them to, like these are just loose in the wrong place. You know what I mean? Like right at the lower end of my crotch, there's just all this extra fabric. So as you can see in the cutaway, I had um, really high expectations for these. I pictured exactly how I was going to pair them together with some of the other outfits. And it's not that I won't wear them. It's just that I won't wear them the way I wanted to or envisioned in my brain. Um, so it's not like I'm not going to get use out of them because yet again, this detail at the bottom is great. I'm just going to have to wear them with longer tops than I wanted to, like much longer, like that cover um, way past down here because this is the bit that's baggy and that really annoys me when there's bagginess down here in like the lower crotch area. Um, that's one of my pet peeves. So not a total win. However, great quality, great stretch, very comfortable. Yet again, in a short, so very good length. 99% cotton, 1% elastane spandex. So they are really great jeans. They're just not perfect for my body uh, shape, but no jeans seem to be perfect for my body shape and it's something I really struggle with. So we're just gonna keep buying jeans until we find ones we like. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna end up with a lot of jeans I sort of don't like that much. <laughs> So next we have these green um, wide leg trousers. Now the thing I loved about their wide leg trousers was not only could I buy them in a short, but also they have very minimal pleating here. This is actually just a seam, it's not actual pleating. I find a lot of wide leg trousers um, like plain colored ones like this and black have like big pleats at the front which really just accentuate that mum tum and these don't. However, I would have sized up. So these are an 18 short. I should have got a 20. That is something I have now learnt. Obviously, I've been through this in other videos if you've seen them where I've talked about um, measuring myself. It doesn't seem to work because the person whose body I'm measuring is somehow different from the person who puts the clothes on. <laughs> and, and this is across the board at a lot of shops. So um, what I'm learning is um, tighter fitting pants like jeans and things like that, um, that have a lot more stretch. I want in a size 18, but more fitted things that I want to be flowy like this are an 18, but it's uh, more a 20 I should have got. However, they fit great. They look great. They're extremely comfortable. This is quite a weighty material. So it is great for winter or for cooler weather and they're just really flowy and nice um, I am really happy with them and I am excited to have fun styling these also I love green like can we just have more green in my life I'm wearing green trousers today <laughs> um, so yes very happy with these do I have any information for you on material So these are 67% viscose, 30% polyester, 3% elastane spandex. So they are a little bit of a mix, but very well made, um, very uh, durable. Like these are going to last a long time. You're going to have these in your wardrobe for years. Marks and Spencer's is one of those brands um, that their clothes is really good quality, but they're still at a decent 
you know, price point. I mean, you get what you pay for a lot of the time and you're not gonna regret buying these on the quality because the quality is amazing. Next, we have got this green top. Now, this is the only top that um, didn't sell out that was in my cart. So as you can see, we've got sort of like a ribbed material here with a knitted uh, look with tiny little holes in for the sleeve. It is more of a balloon sleeve uh, with a cinched arm that sort of comes there and it comes all the way down. It is a bit shorter on the front than the back, which if you don't have the pooch is great for that tuck look where you tuck in the front. It doesn't work for me, but I, I love it. So if you do have the body for that, this is a great little item. Um, this was one of the things I wanted to put with the jeans. So I just thought this would look really cute just to go to the park, really put together, but nice. But also I could pair it with some of the trousers. So I love this. We went for a size 20 and The material is 68% acrylic, 25% polyester, and 7% polyamide. I've never heard of that one. But it is incredibly soft. It does feel extremely well made and durable. It doesn't feel like the sort of material that is going to warp in the wash. I would put it on a wool wash myself or a hand wash setting if you have that. I tend to put anything that I like on a hand wash setting. So most of my clothes go on hand wash. Uh, it's just things like socks, undies, singlets, um, workout gear, and all the kids' clothes that go on a normal wash. Or most of my clothes, especially if it's something I like, even if it's just from Big W or Target or anything like that. In fact, sometimes the cheaper ones I will definitely put on a hand wash because they're the ones more likely to um, shrink or warp in the wash. So I just put them on the hand wash setting and then obviously hang dry, um, no, dryer for those. Right, this next one is probably my favorite pair of trousers because it's um, houndstooth material, like patterning. And can we just talk about the name houndstooth? Like how fucking badass, sorry for my swearing, <laughs> just that sound. Like I love it, but also the look of it. Like, I don't know if you can see that material. It looks so good. And it almost has sort of like that vintage tweedy sort of look to it. But these are very similar to the other trousers. Um, they are just um, obviously in a different material. Yet again, wide leg. Yet again, I got the 18 short. I should have sized up to the um, 20 short, um, but they do fit fantastically. It's just I wanted something a bit more flowy around the, the tum situation. Um, so I would size up if I were you. Um, and then material wise, we've got 56% viscose, 39% polyester, 5% elastane spandex. Very comfy. Yet again, I cannot fault the quality at all. It is amazing. I think these are going to be in my wardrobe for years. Um, and I just love everything about this. This is like your classic winter look trouser and I love it. Um, I have so many ideas how to dress this up, how to dress this down, how to make it work look, how to make it casual. I'm so excited to um, style this. Um, I just love it. It's, I think it's, no, it's not my favorite piece in that, in the haul. It's my second or third favorite piece because there are some great ones coming. I'm saving the best for last. So just wait, just wait. There's, we're almost there. We're almost there. It's not a huge haul. We're almost there. Okay, last pair of trousers. And these ones are different to the other ones. The other ones aren't actually the exact same trousers. They're just very similar. But these ones are a little bit different. We have an elasticated waist. We have uh, pockets. And we also have a fake back pocket. And then the material is this... Um, sort of check material what's that called like um ah my brain's not working but it has these beautiful sort of maroon and um like brown colors through it which yet again to me screams winter but the material is actually on the lighter side so you can wear these year round yet again flowy wide legged Again, I got the 18 short, should have sized up to the 20, but yet again, they fit beautifully. It's just for the look I wanted, I should have sized up. 
Um, material wise, we've got 66% polyester, 30% viscose, 4% elastane spandex. Again, I cannot fault the quality. I cannot fault the make. Um, again, I think these are going to last years. So if you're looking at if you're looking at price, it's important to look at um, a mix in your wardrobe of long lasting items that aren't going to go out of style. Wide leg trousers, especially these sort of more classic patterns. Um, and then uh, I go cheaper with things that probably aren't going to last, that are going to go out of fashion, you know, things like that. Um, but you want to have, pay a bit more for some classics that are going to last forever in your wardrobe. And then just pair them with your more basic, cheaper things. So like one of the things I'm looking at pairing this with is just some basic tees from H&M that, you know, come in a two pack and cost like $14 for a two pack um, or $29 or whatever for a two pack. That's going to look great. And your whole outfit isn't costing a fortune, but this you're going to have for years. The t-shirt, nah, it'll come and go. <laughs> Um, but yes, I love this. I love that there are pockets. Again, so excited about styling this a lot of different ways. Okay, guys, we're moving on to my favorite item. I have been wanting one of these in my wardrobe for a really long time. And my mum actually brought this haul. So thanks to my mum again for buying me another haul. I don't know how I keep convincing you to buy me clothes. She's honestly the most generous person, but she's also really into fashion and clothes and um, we just bond over it and enjoy it together. Um, and so um, when I showed her this and was like, I think I need to get this, she was like, I will buy it for you, add it on, my gift. So thank you, mum. This is a black trench coat. And look, as far as trench coats go, it was really affordable. So I got this in a 20. Um, let's see if I have any information on material before we go any further. Apparently I don't. Let's take it off the hanger. Okay, so button detailing on the shoulder. Okay, we've got a hook clip up here. And then we have got two rows of buttons, oh, a row of buttons down the front. And um, we have got so hard to show you, you're just going to have to see in the cutaway. We've got a uh, drawstring tie, we've got them around the wrist, and um, we've got just a plain black buckle, and I am just in love with this. The material is fantastic, um, it feels heavy and like good quality. This is going to last me a really long time. Um, I really want to tell you what the material is. I really can't find anything. It's got an internal pocket. I didn't even know that. Sorry, I'm knocking over kids' toys. Oh, here it is, right down here. Right down here where you wouldn't even know it. And it has two spare buttons, which we always love, although I always lose them. So, this is 65% polyester, 35% cotton. That's for the lining. Oh, and the lining is polyester. Okay, remove belt before cleaning need to read you that but anyway um i just love this i have been finding it so hard this week not to style everything with this but it looks like it's going to rain today so as soon as this video goes up tomorrow i am wearing this in fact i'm probably just going to wear it tomorrow because i think it's going to rain and um nothing says rainy weather like a trench coat so that is my favorite item in this haul now let's move on to my second favourite and the last item of this haul. And I'm actually wearing them. I wore them on the school run. Now originally I had two pairs of shoes to go in this haul, but one sold out. In fact, the, the shoe, the black one, not exactly the same as this, that was meant to like style with most of this, it sold out. But we got left with the brown. So this is a pair of leather boat shoes. Um, they are a wide fit. However, they are not that wide. So I'm quite lucky. I more often than not need a wide fit, but I'm sort of borderline and can sometimes fit into a regular fit, although a wide fit is more comfortable. So I do fit in these. However, they are a bit snug. But being leather, are they real leather? Yep, yeah. leather upper. Um, being real leather, they will stretch. But if you need a wide foot, like really need a wide foot, you might want to stay clear of these. Now, some things I love. Obviously, you've got the standard stitching that you get with a boat shoe. 
you've got a very good grip on the bottom, which is fantastic for wet weather. Slip on, mum's best friend. Honestly, if you've got a baby, you need a slip on because you're holding the baby, slip your shoes on, ready to go. It's got this gold detailing on the bow and they had these in lots of different colors. They had like pink ones and blue ones. And you know, if they're the color shoe you want, they pretty much had these in that color. Um, and these are just going to last, well, I say they're going to last a long time. Somehow I've already, I don't know if you can see that. I've already like somehow like got a bit off there. So I don't know how I did that, but I am not very careful with my shoes. I sort of fling them off and scuff them and I'm running around with the kids and I'm just not precious with my shoes. Anyway, let me know what you thought of this haul. Um, have you been tempted to buy any of this stuff? Uh, what are you most looking forward to seeing me style? And yeah, just please leave me comments because I really love it. I love every time you guys message me. Um, join the Facebook page or the Instagram or TikTok if you want to see the daily reels. Don't forget to check out all the information and links down below. Please like and subscribe because I really love this. And if this could be my job and help benefit my family and I could keep doing this and I could get some money to put back into it to give you guys more things that you want to see rather than just things I want to see and buy for myself that would be fantastic and in liking and subscribing to this channel I can work towards getting um sponsored so that ads you're watching instead of YouTube making the money from it I would make the money from it so you're watching the ads anyway I might as well make the money rather than YouTube um so yeah please like and subscribe um follow me on Facebook Instagram TikTok because it all helps uh, me to make this channel go even further and do more things that you guys want follow more requests um if you have any styling Things you need help with I'm more than happy to try and help you sending me a message over on Facebook is usually a good way um, and yeah thanks so much for watching guys and next week's haul is going to be so good I don't know how I'm gonna wait I might just have to upload a random one before next week because I don't know if I can wait but we'll see anyway thanks for watching see you later